afternoon folks back at Peaty Street this week and we're uh, doing White to Dark Peak walk 28 mile walk from Baitwell in the White Peak to up in the Dark Peak Baitwell being just down there we've just left there at 1 o'clock I've got public transport in it took me a couple of hours but we got here Bus and train and then train again, uh, bus again So it's 28 mile The basic summary of route is We start in Baitwell We do a short section at Monsell Trail Where we then head off up through uh, Cresswell And then up to Lytton Then we make his way to uh, Iam Village Show sure many on your low uh, know about Iam Plague village as they call it. It's a bad plague swept through that village, I believe, in 1600s or something like that. So then from Iam, we head to Athersage, and then from Athersage, up onto Stanage Edge, down into uh, Ashupton, up Win Hill, down into Hope. Where then in Hope I'll be going at station and catching train home tomorrow. Don't know what time I'll get there, I'll get there whenever when I get there. So, as you'll have gathered, not doing it all in one go, not today. I'll be camping overnight. My plan is, is to uh, get half of it done, 14, 15 mile, and see where that gets me to. And then obviously I need to find a suitable stop or a pitch for overnight. And so, whatever I get done, Whatever I pitch up, I'll be doing resting it tomorrow. Weather-wise, it's forecast sun and showers. We've had a few showers on the way in, but it's not looking too bad at the minute. As I've said before, it'll be what it is, and we'll enjoy it for what it is. We're at, and we'll enjoy it. So 28 mile, overnight camp, white peak to dark peak. Let's get on with it. Absolutely gorgeous through here. And then you see all oh, wild garlic. Absolutely gorgeous. A lovely smell walking through here. Nice little brook running along.
Celtic Cross, 8th century AD. Really nice piece of stonework back in its AD. Still looks impressive now. Cottages, but a bit of a gruesome past. Ghost Cottage. Nine members of the Thorpe family. All lived here and they all died. folks just gone nine o'clock as I was saying earlier on and uh, I just got here about seven ish I think something like that and I'd no sooner got tent up there was a, a big black cloud coming over from I could see it coming over kinda and across I could see it coming over Winnell I thought it wouldn't have come round but within five minutes it was over there and it's absolutely banged it down so I got in tent got all my stuff out uh, and I've been in here ever since and it's just it absolutely hammered it down for about half an hour uh, and it's coming and going 
but it's just not letting up. It stops for about five minutes and then starts raining again. So I've basically been in here for about an hour and a half. So like I say, it's, it's just gone nine o'clock, it's about ten past nine. It's time for some uh, tea. Uh, I'm trying these adventure foods on this camp. Got the uh, adventure food chicken curry. That's what I'll be having for tea in a bit. Basically, you just fill fill to a, a line with boiling water. You zip it back up. Let it stand for eight minutes. Mix it, and you're good to go. And then for tomorrow morning. Expedition breakfast. This has got apple, wheat, nuts, raisins, and all sorts in it. So, having them and. Support me, somebody from this camp. Got some Kipling, Mr. Kipling. Chocolate. All of them. Some ambrosia deluxe custard with vanilla and clotted cream. And a galaxy hot chocolate to finish it off. Certainly looking forward to that. So I'm going to get some tea on. There were no sunset, as I, as I say. It, just went black over there and it's come over this way. It's, it's dark now. Nah, so, tear on, pudding, cup of hot chocolate. By that time, I shall be ready for hitting the pillow. Good night's sleep to finish the second part of the walk off, the dark peak side of it. So, if I don't speak to you again, Seven. I've been up since six. I know the sunrise this morning, pretty much what you can see, cloudy, a bit of wind got up in night. So I've had a good breakfast, a couple of cups of coffee, and we're ready for day two at White to Dark Peak. That's where I was pitched. You know the score, we'll leave no trace. So that's where we're heading. See a guitar over there, I'll walk where we've camped before if you can see it. Down into Othersage, which is down here, up onto Stanage Edge, down into where Lady Bowery is, Ashipton, and Winhill, and then down in, back into the valley, back into Oak, where I'll be catching train home. It's about another 14 mile. Passage. Walk past the uh, Alp Kit store. So I've dropped down through Othersage and now coming out at the village, back into the fields. And we're we'll making his way up onto uh, Stanage Edge. A bit of a walk to get up there. We're we'll making his way back up out of the valley now, back up onto Stanage Edge.
path folks, we made it. Hope train station. Now trains at 20 to 2, it's just gone 25 past 1. Couldn't have timed it any better really. Bike to Dark Peak, done. Can thoroughly recommend that. It's a good walk, is that? It's told on me this last uh, leg today, I know it would do. Coming up over Stanage Edge and then that climb up onto uh, Winnell. It's been certainly been the hardest uh, one. Nice walking yesterday in White Peak, hard walking in Dark Peak. I'll put full mileage and uh, time it's taken me actual walking time in the description. Uh, to top that up here. So, we've done it. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoy it. I certainly have. I'll see you next time.